The reason this is a combat spin is because now I can strike and go into that other position, hitting as hard and as fast as you can. In this martial arts class, you'll discover how to use the Japanese bow for beginners. Grab your martial arts long staff and follow me. Start with the staff in the right hand. You're gonna turn it all the way up, slide the other hand down so it's palm to palm, turn it, this hand comes under, and that butterfly, this is a version of a butterfly spin. Several different ways you can do it. This way gives you maximum control. Keeps your hands closer together. Bring that to a stop and go back the other way. Left hand, pinky side up. Right hand slides down, takes it, turning, pops under it. Gradually increasing your speed again. Dropping this thing as much as you can. Dropping is a good sign. It means you're growing. It means you're fighting out of your comfort zone. You're fighting to grow. You only grow outside of your comfort zone. Inside your comfort zone, it's just a workout. It's not really training. I want you to keep training, keep moving. Keep dropping it, keep picking it up. Bring that to a stop. Your hands are in this position where one is down and one is up. This is the perfect position for that first strike. Put your right foot forward, your right palm is up. Bring that strike down at this angle. Think of hitting temple and following through to the cheek. Think of hitting them here in the clavicle, breaking that, following through into that rib and coming out. Maybe they're coming in and trying to grab you or punch you. Just straight down, striking, breaking something, and then bring this one across. Two strikes here, one, two, one. Now think about how you do this strike. You can strike high, or you can strike low, or you can strike in the middle. That's all the same strike, but just done at different levels. Understand that. This is how to use a bow staff for beginners. One, think about that low strike. You can come across the face, you can come into the ribs, you can come down into the knee, or it can go into that dog that's running around the neighborhood. The pit bull, I saw one this morning, off the chain, running around. There was no owner anywhere. It didn't look friendly. One, two, there's that second one. I'm not advocating that you hurt a dog, but I'm saying defend yourself. One, two, one, two. Practice the strike down, middle, up. Practice the first strike up, down. Middle, middle, down, up. However we want to do it, but practice those different angles. Down, across, down, across, down, across. A little lower, still across, just coming lower. Practice that and then go into your combat bow spin. Combat spinning looks like this. Palm up, palm down, go over the back of that left hand. Left hand turns and takes it. I stop it. Now I'm in the same position. Push, go over the back of that other hand, the right hand. This is where I started. Same position, but on the other side. Same position, combat bow spinning. The reason this is a combat spin is because now I can strike and go into that other position, hitting as hard and as fast as you can. Push over the back, strike one, two. Push over the back. Strike one, two. Back, one, two. From your very first class, as a martial artist, how to use a bow staff for beginner. Now know how to go from one side to the other side and how to do a couple of strikes. Let's add one more strike. After this strike, jab straight in. From here, it's just pushing. From here, push. Your hands are not gonna open. From here, push. Look at what it looks like on the other side. From here, push, push, push. There's that combat bow spin. One, two, one, two. Put the three strikes together. Down, across, push. Other hand. Down, across, push. Now, whichever hand is facing palm up, put that foot in the front. One, two, three. 
right foot, right hand facing up. First strike, second strike, third strike. One, two, three. Check out these other videos and what else you can do with your Japanese bow or other martial arts long staff. I'll see you next time.